The fallout from coronavirus wasn't merely going to be the virus, but the escalation of existing diseases that needed um, heightened levels of understanding and control to an even greater extent. And so I think that Cherry Health has responded to the call of the pandemic quite well. I am so happy that I'm here. So when people call and they feel anxious, I can say to them, hey, you know, we're here. We're going to do this testing for you. It's changed my, the job that I do, the services that I provide has changed incredibly over these last few months. Um, but I'm still hanging in there. I'm still being positive because our community needs us to be positive. They need a safe place to go. And knowing that I provide that safe place or that sense of security, um, that means a lot to me. In a world where there's just so much uncertainty and, and anxiety and stress about what's going to happen, I think it's, it's good for people to know that there is, is a, an establishment here that is looking out for them and it will be available for them if things go south, if something unexpected happens, if they no longer have their job, their income, their, their insurance, that, that they still have a place to turn to. Mental health um, was obviously a priority for us, but um, trying to make sure we engaged our clients a little bit more, even just to say, hey, how are you? We're reaching out became a priority for us to try and make sure that they were aware uh, that they still had their support. During COVID, I mean, we really are, working as a team is critical. Patients come in and they see, they see the same faces around the office, whether they're in vision, they're in dental, they're in the medical aspect, uh, in the behavioral health. They, they see a lot of the same faces for whatever service they come in for. I think if we weren't here, they would lose that sense of family. I had a client call me the other day to tell me that she's gonna have a granddaughter. Right now, all she has are grandsons. She called me. You know, there's probably a hundred other people that she could call, but she chose to call me. And that's how I know I'm making a difference is when they, you know, they're sharing their barriers and things that are hard for them, but I get to share in their successes as well. I am so grateful that people out there are supporting us and keeping us going. We probably wouldn't be able to do this without um, the donors, so I'm so thankful for that. And just know, um, not only myself, but all the people I work with, we really do appreciate everything that the donors are doing to fill in the gap and to keep us going. We, we do appreciate it and thank, thank you. Having donors that help us to be able to go into the community and work from home and work from the office and have everything that we need to help our clients is the most important factor. You know, we couldn't do telehealth without computers. We couldn't do telehealth without the phones. We couldn't be there on call after hours, you know, without that technology. You know, the community helping us serve this population is extremely important. Coronavirus, uh, COVID-19 has been um, an incredible chameleon uh, and has um, shape-shifted in a way demanding of each and every aspect of humanity a layer of armor and thickness and resilience uh, that will be remembered for the ages. Uh, we, we are making history as we speak, and it will be, I hope, a beautiful triumph when we uh, can look back and say, and we did it well. <laughs>